So in SOLIDWORKS here, we've got a border around the edge of the paper. And so what you can do is you can actually automate the creation of that. So if you're working on a template or trying to create a new paper from scratch, it's a good idea to use the automatic border tool to automatically create this border. And you got a lot of control in here. You've got different rows and columns and you have a lot of different options for how to set that up as far as uh, margins are concerned, sizes of lines and styles of lines and things of that nature. But realistically, what this is going to do is it's going to set up all of the uh, zones behind the scenes. And so when you do this, you can also draw what's called a margin mask. And basically that will let us draw an area in which to not have any of those borders. So sometimes you'll have something like that where you know you don't actually create a zone line or zone markers on the bottom of the page. And so that's kind of a uh, an industry standard sometimes. But basically when you do this, all of these zones are actually automatic. So they're going to space and create intelligent zone markers for each one of those locations. Um, the nice part about that is that's all navigatable and tools like uh, the inspection ballooning or the revision ballooning uh, will actually track the locations of those in 2E space, which is very nice. Now, that's the automatic border tool. Uh, what I want to talk about next are the properties and the title block. So whenever you're working on a drawing or setting up a drawing, you have a bunch of fields in your title block. Now, these fields are all linked to data. So when I look at these, you'll see that we have one here that's linked to the material of the part, and we have one that's linked to the finish of the part. So if you're gonna be setting one of these up, let's say we wanna set up one for finish, let's do that. We'll use the note tool, and we'll add that note in there. It's helpful to zoom in sometimes so you can you know, get a better feel for where to place it. And when you place that note, you're going to want to link it to a property on the left-hand side. So you can actually link it to a property with this option here, and that will link it to either the current document, which means that that is the actual drawing itself for the properties of the drawing, or the model. And when you use the model, you could actually specify which model. If you've got more than one model inside of your drawing, you may want to uh, adjust which one it's linking to. But essentially, you can then link that to, let's say, uh, a property, and we'll call it finish. That's going to link to our custom property for finish. Um, and then, you know, we could also link it to whatever uh, properties downstream we want. But basically, you know, really straightforward. You can set up those property links, and then you'll have a linked property in the sheet. So you'll see here, for instance, like the part number is linked here and the revision is linked here. So we can actually adjust that and maybe we'll, we'll tweak the font size here and make this a little smaller. Once you've kind of got these property links set up and you've got all your notes set up in the title block for your property linking, you can also right click and specify what's called title block fields. This launches the title block wizard where you can actually set the boundary of your title block and then you can specify which one of those you want to be editable. When you select the properties, they'll highlight in a blue color. And this will allow the end user to be able to fill all these properties out later. And these will link bi-directionally to their uh, source model. So once you set that up, you can then, uh, in, the, in the drawing itself, you can hover over the area and you'll see that there's a dashed line. And when I double click in here, all those properties will light up and then ask me to fill them out. Right, and so you can just type data in here and, and uh, you know, this will link to properties, you know, as needed. Pretty cool.